Hey guys, welcome to my review of The Post. So I just want to explain real quick that the reason that I wanted to review this movie is because I was a really big fan of Spielberg's last movie that he did kind of that was kind of like this called The Bridge of Spies. As you know, it made like my top 10 list for like the only top 10 movie list that I've ever done on this channel. But I really enjoyed it. I liked, you know, the themes of it that, you know, no matter what, no, or no matter who you are, you are entitled to the rights, you know, that every American should be entitled to and everything like that. All the stuff that makes America awesome, I really loved about that movie. And, you know, I love, plus I love Tom Hanks, I love Spielberg, I love the acting, just everything about that movie, I really liked it. So I wanted to review this movie too, and also it was a movie that came out last year that I kind of missed, and I wanted to talk about it because I thought that I would like it as much as uh, Bridge of Spies, but... Well, you know, I didn't. So, The Post stars Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep, and they both do a good job in this movie. It's a little bit more of a gritty kind of performance from Tom Hanks that I kind of liked about it, and that you don't really kind of see him in this, I don't know, kind of like gruff role, I don't think, very much. And Meryl Streep does a good job in the movie, too. Like, they're both, like, all the acting in the movie is really good. That's what I, that's one thing I have to say that was, like, you know, great across the board in it. I also really like the cinematography in this movie. I love the way it looks. I love the way it's shot. Spielberg is great at shooting period pictures, I think. And it just really just adds to the whole like viewing of the movie. I also like that they really nailed the time period for this movie and that like you know, it just it doesn't look like you know, you know how like in some movies that are trying to be like shoot it like shoot a movie that's like a period picture like in the old days, but you can kind of tell it's like it just looks a little too modern or whatever. This doesn't look that way. It looks like it was shot in the 1960s, which I really liked. Although it's very obvious in this movie why I kind of didn't like it of what they're going after, like, you know, the whole attack on the media, the fake news things and all that. And like, I have no problem with them going after that. I, I really don't. But like, it's the fact that they weren't very good at interweaving it into the story or kind of being subtle with it. They were very blatant with what they were addressing in this movie, which kind of took me away from it a little bit like it's very obvious that they're going after fake news and the whole like attack on everything and, and a lot of the stuff that's happening today which I felt like they could have done they they could have pulled it off a lot better I feel like it it, it just felt kind of clunky to me overall guys it's a decent movie it's not as good as Bridge of Spies or any of Spielberg's other movies I don't think but it's definitely not his worst and it's still like it's something to think about, and that's why I will give it a 2C if you want something to think about. So that's it for me, guys. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.